Hello, fellow bookquesters. It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I introduce you to this awesome Michael Moore Fergo book, Kensuka's Kingdom by Michael Moore Fergo, the master himself. And let's get right on to the details. Michael. The main character's name is Michael. After his father has lost his job, his father had with the remaining money bought a boat. And with that boat, he said that they were going to go around the world. And they would, only not in the way they expected. Michael, the day before his 12th birthday, there was a terrible storm. And then Stella Arpris, their dog, had gone to the hull of the ship without a safety harness. She might be swept off. So Michael had come. So Michael had gone, and this is Michael. Michael had gone to rescue the dear, dear, dear Stella, Stella Artois. And then, you know what happened? They were swept overboard by a huge wave, and it was very bad. And then he woke up in an island with nothing on it, no food, nothing. And then, a bowl of food and water came by suddenly, like, when he wakes up, and he's very surprised, like, what? Am I, the, am I not the only one on this island? Then he tries to make a fire, and when that happens, the old man came. Later, he would know his name was Kensuke, but he was very much stabbed very much later. It was Kensuke's island, and the old man says she was banished, basically banished to the other side of the island. And then he finds out about Kensuke's history. When a boat came, and the boats come and go, Michael had made a dear old beacon on a hill, hill, and he had lit a fire, a bonfire, a rescue signal, hope for a rescue signal. But, but, the thing is, our dear Kensuke didn't like that. She came and he yelled, Damn it up! Kensuke, he would know later, was a Japanese person. And here I am in Tokyo. I live in Tokyo. And I'm really, I'm really reminded of that because the old man well, fought in the Great War and in the Second Great World War Two, and he had ran away and he he had his ship had failed and the ship had and his ship that that inside she was the only alive person and it had drifted off to his his new island his new home and he had made it his new home that was Kensuka's history he would know later. But at that time, he didn't know. He was very mad. Kensuka had told him not to swim. He had said, Damn it off! I would not! Understand, boy? No, swim. That was what he said. What did I, what did Damita and Abunai mean? Damita meant, No, don't do it. And Abunai meant, Dangerous. But he didn't know that. He simply jumped into the water in, just, in, just in anger to show the old man that he was not a slave. But the old man, Kensuke, knew that after a huge storm like that one, there would be, the sea would be full of white jellyfish. And if he swam then, and those jellyfish would kill him instantly. And when he swam, the jellyfish came and he was stuck. But Kensuke rescued him. And that's when they became good friends. Kensuke learned English, and Michael learned how to survive from Kensuke. And finally, finally, they, they two together, they made a beacon. The old man did not want to go to old Japan. He belonged to old Japan, he said, but he did not belong in the new Japan of wonders. So he said that he was going to stay in his world. In this island, on this island, that it was his home. And it was over. And then, 
one day, day. So this is when they Kensuke finally decided to help Michael, help Michael to go back to his world, to the new world. And then a ship came. They lit the beacon. It was the Penny Sue, the ship that Michael's parents had bought. The ship came, and he was rescued by his own parents. It's a miracle. But he uh, and he met Kensuke's son that he talked so much about, and 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 everyone that Kensuke talked about. He thought they're dead for sure. He heard about the huge bomb on Nagasaki, and that was where his son, his wife, and every and and his, all his relatives live. That they were all dead. That that is not true. By a stroke of luck, they had survived. He didn't know that he was still on that island. Said, kind of. And it's it was it it ends with Michael's happy ending. And he went back to his wife, but I don't think he ever forgot the old man who helped him survive in a remote island when he would die for sure. Great book, great read, thrilling mystery, and kind of suspense, I guess. And like always, a book western, I hope I had my sword. I mean, I hope I had my sword, of course I do. And bye bye, guys. Like always. Your book question. Aaron the book question.